of the match scored really by the two men that should have scored a try two minutes ago Hayward to Boyd oh there was no Balmain cover at all well no cover on the blind side whatsoever they didn't move up to uh, cover the Western Suburbs players quick pass from Adonicus and a uh, very good one of course from Boyd uh, but Western Suburbs are the team that's taken the initiative in this That's third right. quarter. Now the scrum went to Wests. O'Grady, Hayward. The possession is pretty evenly divided at the moment, isn't it? With scrum seven all on penalties, seven apiece. Bevan. Slicing through and giving it to Dorothy. Rounded up by Corowa. Gave it out there to Boland. And taken by Wigan. Flash of brilliance on the... Uh, Scoreboard side from the black and whites. Picked mm. up Hayward, given to O'Grady. Out to Kane. Quick hands is required. It's got to come wide to the left. It has. It's out with Smith. On the inside is Boyd. Boyd has tackled inside the 22, not held. And again is put to ground. Buddy Kane was flying to the other direction. Now with Rodonicus. Clausey. Balmain are not moving into defence uh, as quickly, Keith. Not moving up on them, giving them plenty of room to move. Brown popping it down to Gibbs and giving away. It's a try to Bevan. Mark Bevan has scored for the Western Suburb side to lead by 10 points to four now. Here it is on the Amco replay. Brown's pass over to Gibbs. Taken by Corowa, given to Bevan, and he plunges in to score. Two tries to the Magpies now. In the third quarter. Head on. Mm, so you're looking for a typical English type half, a halfback that can open up the defence, open up the opposition, and really throw a panic into their ranks. Yep. Well, Mortimer's well, the boy. The fella, yeah. Well, the answer will come up on Sunday at Lidcombe when those two sides clash. Probably the answer. There's the bomb by Hayward, sending McMahon back into the in-goal area. It's going to be a dangerous bounce. It's picked up by Hayward, and he scores. Well, that ball in flight always had danger written across it. I don't know whether the replay will show the ball in flight. It'll pick it up here, but it was always going to bounce on one of those ends. And that means it could go anyway. It took a left-hand turn without the signal, and John Hayward was standing back there idling away and he said thank you very much and scores the try watch it head on now McMahon sees it bounce and look at that it went not at 90 degrees but back at about probably 60 degrees Mara up to the 22 through Minnes it's gone to Knight and on to Wiggum Wiggum looks for Corowa Tarawa has it. Well, Jared Crow has been replaced by Brian Cook in the Western Suburbs side. Well, Hartley has given the try. Scored by Percy Knight for Balmain. From Morris. It came out to Les Mara, then on to Percy Knight, making the break Spears back to Knight. And then Buddy Kane tried to make the tackle and Knight forced his way over to score. See, even at this late stage, Keith, the Balmain defence is not moving up fast enough to smother any attacking move. But Wester are able to turn the ball at will. Good football, Radonikus, and then Gibbs has got a pass down. <coughs> Pardon me. That was great, uh, great passing by Rodonikus to uh, this man, Big Bruce Gibbs, who didn't give his support much of a chance, but it's gone to Kane, on to Dorohy, then back inside to Cook. Replacement on in 18 for West is John Crow, by the way. Oh. And there's West in again. O'Grady scoring. And West's really putting the hammer. Well, it was a good effort by Western Suburbs and won back a lot of the support they lost and they went down to Cronulla by 19 points to 9 the previous weekend. All right, fellas. Canterbury and Western Suburbs, how do you see them? Well, Canterbury is the most consistent side.